what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Prosecutors said Monday they would not charge the white Omaha bar owner who fatally shot a black protester this weekend after reviewing video of the incident and deeming it self-defense. The actions of the shooter, the bar owner, were justified, Douglas County Attorney Don Klein declared at a press conference. This decision may not be popular, he said, referring to calls for the bar owner, Jake Gardner, to be charged with murder in the case of James Skurlock, 22 years old. In fact, Omaha officials apparently fearing the decision would fuel further unrest, counseled businesses to close up early, and protesters began gravitating toward the old market area where Skurlock had been killed. By nightfall, there were about 400 people there and hundreds of cops. We will not let others antagonize us or scare us. We're also not going to accept people who degrade us as a people, Tyrese Johnson, 20 years old, told the Daily Beast. At the press conference, Donnie Boy played several video clips of a minute-long confrontation that unfolded Saturday night between Gartner, the owner of the Hive, and the Gatsby Night Spots, and a small group of people. The footage showed Gartner, a 38-year-old ex-Marine, and his 68-year-old father, standing outside the Gatsby, where windows had been broken as protesters steaming from the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis devolved into vandalism. The father walked down the street to confront the young black men, shoved one of them, and then got decked and pushed back about 10 feet, Klein said in narrating the video. The younger gardener then confronted the group and showed that he was carrying a gun, Klein said. Suddenly, the video shows two of the young men charged at Gardner and knocked him into a puddle on the street, at which point he fired two shots he claimed were warnings. The duo ran off. Skurlock jumps on top of him, Klein said, and that's when Gardner shoots over his back and pops Skurlock in the clavicle, killing him. The prosecutor said that Old Gardner gave his version of events and he said that he feared for his life. Had no choice. He feared for his life. I'm just not a fan of people starting shit, getting their ass whooped, and then playing the victim. You know, the thing is, let's say that they were vandalizing something. At the time, they wasn't. He don't know for sure if that guy was actually vandalizing anything at that moment or had ever vandalized anything. He saw a group of black guys. He knew that there was vandalism that had taken place. He saw a group of black guys. So he approached him. Hey, what's up? And I guess he didn't like what he heard. The old man doing what, you know, he typically probably do all the time. You know, he was definitely a teenager in the 60s at least, what was he, 68? So in the 60s, yeah, well that would have made him like a teenager some parts of it, those years and an adult the rest. So this dude probably did what, you know, he used to doing, just handling, handling a black person. So he initiated, if the, if the pops, don't go walk up to the kid and push him, then none of this even happens. You dig what I'm saying? Now, I know some of y'all, well, you know, if the kid wouldn't have been out there looting and riding, we don't know that. And he did not catch the kid vandalizing anything. So if the old man don't walk up to the kid and push him, we're not even having this discussion. And his son, who has the propensity to walk around with guns. Uh, he likes to flash guns. He has some cases in the past where he's been arrested for having weapons. 
And at the time that he killed uh, Skirlock, guess what? His permit had expired. His permit to carry. It had expired. Stealing yet. The prosecutor said that he's not going to be charged for that. So he's not going to be charged for murder. And he's not going to be charged for carrying an illegal weapon. What's wrong with that picture, fam? He's not supposed to walk away clean. So really, more than anything, that tails off on the prosecutor. That they won't even, I mean, you would think that they would say, you know what, well, we can't let him go scot-free because it'll just draw too much attention. You know, let's, let's charge him at least for the gun because he shouldn't have had that concealed weapon. You know, he didn't have a permit for the concealed weapon. So let's, let's at least try to make it look good. Now we know, you know, this is Omaha. So, you know, we do things a little different. It's a small, sleepy town. So we do things a little different around here. But you know what? Let's just put a little old tic tac charge on him and, you know, uh, you know, we'll make sure you get a little probation or something and uh, work it off and won't even be on your record. Bold. They bold with it. I'll repeat, fam. You don't get to start a fight, get your ass whooped, and play the victim. That seems to happen a lot in America. Where you got some people who have a sense of entitlement, who thinks that the rules don't apply to them. They apply, but not to them. There's a guy that lives in a big old white house on Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. He has the same mentality. No more talk. What the talking about?